it's a it's an absolute must win game and and yeah for my for my last game at the DW to, to make sure it's a win would be be lovely for me but the the main focus is on getting um, getting through with this England team into the into the semi finals because we're at the stage now where you you slip up put a bad performance in like we did against Italy in the warm up then you're gone you're on your holidays just like at club level. Um, if you can, you know, compare it to the Challenge Cup, if you get um, an early round against um, a Championship one side, sometimes you know you have that sort of mentality. But you know, this level it will buy you. By all accounts, they stepped it up another, another level. I think they, they had to against some more, but um, that's probably something they'll probably try and bring bring against us. You know, especially from last night, I think it was quite intense, wasn't it? So, uh, but that's what you expect of, of of all teams. You've got to be that way, uh, and you've got to take it as well. So. Um, that's what we expect for, for the weekend and you know, hopefully we can match that. When you look at what's at, at stake here um, at the weekend and how important of a game it is, um, I don't think there'll be no complacency. I think the side's quite different than the side we've played uh, in the past few years. It's not even been mentioned, to be honest, about the, about the semi. We, we know we've no, we've no given right to get there. We know we've got to put in a performance, so our, our sole focus is about, is about this weekend and making sure that our performance is good enough to get, to get us into that next round. And then once we've done that, then we can start to focus on whoever we play against. Well, obviously, it's nice to win. Uh, nice to win against Ireland and Fiji. Uh, it's a lot of hard work had to go into them games, but uh, we had a long time aiming up for Australia and um, we kept short again, and we will be. Um, I, I suppose we keep learning from um, every time we lose against them, and it's like a learning step, and hopefully we can put it right within the next few weeks. I, I, didn't, I wasn't sure if I'd get a chance to again for at least for a number of years um, but yeah now I know there's there's no chance after this is there to, to play there again for, for a while so it'll be brilliant going back it's, it's a stadium I've got nothing but, but happy memories from and um, you know it'll be good to, to play there again yeah I would I've not scored yet in this World Cup have I so yeah no, I need to stop putting them on the plate for other people though. <laughs> well yeah <laughs> I'm thankful um, Obviously, um, for what he, what he can do, he's a great player, he's Sam, and he, uh, he's, he's got some remarkable individual tries as well. But he, um, a lot of my tries have all been served up on a platter by him, you know, by him beating a man and putting me away. So you know, he's um, he's a talented player. So I, I'm, I'm thankful for him, and it's not just Sam; it's you know, everyone on the back, you know, um, in the team as well. Like there's things that cameras don't see that we all see that, um, that contribute. Hopefully the Wigan fans will really, really turn out in force. I know fans from all over the country will be going, but um, you know I think a, a big proportion will be Wigan fans hopefully, and, and they'll get behind the England team. Any ground when it's full, it's great to play at and great to great to play for England. That, but yeah, I think for, for the Wigan boys, it, it would make it a little bit more special than it is at the home club. 